What is going on, my fellow champions of the realm? It's your boy Apache, and today we're going to be doing a VOD, rev VOD review <laughs> for Goddess of Realms, right? He is a Masters player, right? Um, and in this game, she'll be playing on Splitstone with the champion and Droxus. Ooh. Um, so, her role for this game, right? She's going to be Kill Secure slash Disruptor. And for those of you uh, who don't understand what the term Disruptor is, I, I'll do a, a, a brief. Uh, explanation right so as a disruptor you're basically a diver a flanker right in in, in a sense it, it can kind of work uh, for different roles in different ways right but for the most part um your goal is to disrupt right doesn't mean you have to get a kill doesn't mean you got to do a ton of damage basically as long as you're a, you're a threat as long as the enemy has to think about you uh with that for basically every decision they make um that's disrupting right basically stopping them from doing something even if it's with just your presence right um you're let's say you're sitting on top of high ground and Tyra doesn't want to peek because you can you can shoot her right or she doesn't want to cross this area because you can dive her because you know so that's that's disrupting that's an example of disrupting or if you're holding a certain angle um the tank doesn't want to hold the point because you can shoot them in the back right that's disrupting so that's your goal for this game um role wise right uh, for your buys caught obviously um anti-heal is it's amazing right sky heals probably uh damba damba heals Hyra self-sustained kova self-sustained khan self-sustained right it's on a healing right so you're gonna need the you're definitely gonna need the anti-heal right illuminate it's a you can you cannot buy it right it all depends on your preference uh, i think it's always good to uh good to buy it right uh because sky is a very snowball champion and if you can stop her from snowballing early on i think it kind of just uh it sets you up to win late game super easily right so i think it's a strong item in this scenario haven haven's gonna make you tankier gonna allow you to win duels a lot easier right just make you a thick boy right and then filler honestly in this game uh in my opinion i'd probably go for a a uh, wrecker or a zill filler it's really going to depend on how much damba's like fearing you but if that's the case you might just have to save your ult for it uh, but i think wrecker will be really good because just the extra help uh to break shields quickly things like that right uh but it'll all depend on how the game is going right you got a shot you got a mave you guys have a really high dps so shields probably won't stay up uh very long as long as shaolin's alive uh but you never know right uh so yeah uh, for your ults this game uh obviously going for picks with andrew with your ult is going to be like your number one priority you see ice if you see sky isolated ultra you see tyro isolated ultra you see damba isolated ultim right um even a tank right um but in some cases you, it'll be really hard to find things like that right so if that's the case you can just use it for point burn even if it's used to just break a shield because your shaolin's dead like i think that's value right uh because as long as the win condition is to kill uh kill the point if you're using your ult to 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 work towards that win condition right nobody can complain uh dismounts you really won't be dismounting anything uh this game it's more so going to be rolling out towards your lane if you see them you fight them if you don't uh you just want to go straight to their high ground basically uh to give you options right and i'll show you that on the map real quick so basically what i'm thinking for your rollout is if we're from this spawn right you're going to come out this way probably roll out like this right when you get here this is where you're going to stop right think are they here? Are they not here? If it is, if they are here, you fight it. If it's not, I want you to go through this door because it just gives you a little bit more space to work with. And you're going to come around here. And then right here, you're going to check again. Are they on high ground? Yes or no. If they're not, you're going to wrap. Right? And then if they're all in quarry, you just take high ground. Right? And then from here, you have so many angles, things like that. Right? And it's just, you're a constant threat. Right? I mean, if somebody is high ground, you're going to have to probably duel them from here or even since they don't really have a flanky comp them leaving high ground if they are playing high ground is really risky right so another option you could do and i'll put it in another color this would be like option b is you can come this way and you could just burn the point right so these would be your two options in, in, in a sense right so option one flank get high ground uh, get a lot of pressure option two they're playing high ground playing super safe burn point all right so with that out of the way we're gonna look at the gameplay so first buy caught I would probably buy called Illuminate to be honest. Let's look at your build real quick. Most Android builds are going to be uh, preference, by the way. So I'm not going to harp too much on it. Uh, but if there's any weird, weird cards, I'll just point it out. So you have Marksman 2, which is going to give you two ammos for punching an enemy. Uh, through the Warp 3, Elusiveness 3, Light of Hand 2, and Watchful 5. So my issues with this build, right? So 
when you're looking at the enemy comp, right, you got to be thinking, um, am I going to be getting a lot of elims, right? If you're not, if you're going to be doing a lot of shield breaking, a lot of poking, right, maybe you should go for maybe like uh, Power of the Abyss or something, right? Something to give you resets. Um, because if you're not getting those elims, right, that card just doesn't get as much value as you would want it to get, right? So um, I, I don't think I use a build like this. I think I use it a little differently, but I do have a, a watchful build. These, this is not a bad build at all, and I'm not saying it won't work at all this game. It could be huge value, but um, just depending on how safe they play, it might be a little a little weird, right? So they are running Heal Sky with Gordamba, and they're running Stun Khan. So hopefully your Nando realized that, which I don't think he has yet, uh, but Brazil is going to be very, very strong for him, right? So er early on in the game, they're going to win point cap. Why? Because they have Stun Khan. If he stays Stun Khan... Nando won't be able to contest because what happens? He contests, he gets stunned. After he gets stunned, he gets hooked. And with those two cooldowns alone, he dies because they just have way too much DPS, right? So uh, early game, you're gonna is gonna really uh heavily rely on how much pressure you and the Mave can get and how well Shaolin can kind of deter the tanks from just walking in, you know? So that is definitely a thing. So here we go. You got caught illuminate. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, I'm not a big fan of this angle. <laughs> All right, so we are rolling out Fireside. This is cool, right? You see them? You roll out through the door, which uh, I suggested, which is pretty good. You're going to walk up here, get some vision on high, right? You don't see anything. You don't see anything. Tyra is alone, right? So if your Mave is in comms, right, you call for a dive. If not, uh, you can probably just, you know, you look for a solo play on your own, right? So whether you mount up behind her and get a few shit shots in, right, or you poke her from here and force her out, the choice is yours. I'd probably say go for the safer, the safer play and just poke her out. Because if you dash, flick, dash, flick, dash, right, and you miss your shots, if she gets, if she just uses her nades, she might just win the fight, right? So I'd probably start with poking here. She's looking, she's looking for a flank. Decide to ignore her, right? Tom dies, cool. So now, um, after you get that pick, I would just kind of like uh, rotate back to the right side, right? Oh, hold on, I gotta reset my keybind. There we go. So. Um, after you get that pick there, right, you already know that your team's kind of playing over here. So what I would do is I would just stretch back this way. Why? Because you don't want to all be looking through the same direction, right? Get other angles. That's the that's the strength of triple DPS. Getting angles is super easy. So right here, I would like you could dash on top of bleachers, things like that, right? You can go to their high ground. So right here, Khan just respawn, right? And you guys haven't got a pick yet, right? So like if you would have just played a little bit more aggressive, took top of bleachers, right? So if you would have went up here, right? Uh, like the Mave has, but a lot earlier, or just went up here. Like, as soon as you kill Khan, if you would have just, you would have just, because you have Watchful, so you basically got your cooldown back. You you just basically slide this way, and then you go up here. Now you have an angle on them, right? And now it's like they're really pressured, and maybe you get a pick. Because by you being up there, if you do a lot of damage, your team will push up, most likely. Now you go to high ground. Sky's kind of isolated here. Can't really see her, because, you know, no loom. Be careful with his positioning since you're not too sure where Koa's at. I would just leave. Oh, he's gonna go for a hook. Nice. Gonna reset onto the high ground. Just poke away. Good job. So right here, this is a this is a a, a good moment, right? So re paying attention to respawn timer is very important. Your Mave respawns in a second. Your Sky respawns in two. Therefore, your Mave will get back before the Sky gets back, right? So from here, if you just kind of relax in this area, right? Do what you're doing. Poke, 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 poke. You can get a free kill on Sky. You have caught one. You have a loom one. There's no way Sky beats you in a 1v1 if you hit all your shots, right? So right here, keep doing what you're doing. Make sure you don't lose too much health. Make sure maybe you get a heal. And then you, if you leave to kill Sky, as long as your team doesn't feed, you should win the fight again. Because they are they heavily rely on the double heals. They are heavily relying on this. Right here. I think you probably turned a little too early, right? Because even though she just respawned, right? It's still another five seconds, like one, two, three, four, right? So four or five seconds before she even gets to you, right? So you could have done a little bit more poke into them and then turn for this. Good kill though, right? Because uh, a thing that could happen is that they could they could kill your Nando in exchange for your Sky, and that's like that's a, a phenomenal trade for them, right? Like they they're okay with that. So you just don't want to you want to make sure you don't give up your main tank for just a, a Sky that's a free kill, you know, because you can get it regardless. So right here, I would go I. I mean, maybe dropping down here is not terrible. I probably would have went on top of the uh, top of high ground, though. But you guys have three angles, which is pretty good, right? You're getting some poke in. Go to high. Nice. Nice. Good job. Very smart repositioning. Finish kills. This guy should die here again. Nice. 
Good punch. Give you info and ammo. Nice. So now, like, there's no need to rush, right? I, and, and this is one thing. I don't know if you do it or not, but you might just pop your ult the second you see somebody and try to kill them. But you need to pay attention to where the card is, right? So this is the probably the hardest choke to break in this game. So getting the card fast here is going to be the hardest thing. But you guys should get that for free, right? So basically, in my opinion, since you're going to break this choke for free, I would kind of just poke and just chill. And then once the card gets, like, to here or even here, depending on how much free uh, cap you get, then use an ult, right? Because I would prefer you to break this choke than using an ult when this choke is going to get broken for free, if that makes any sense. So right here, just chill. Oh, what has hook? Oof. There you go. Good dodge. Right? So you have, like, like right here, you have an, an opportunity to get information. And I know it's it's in the moment, so it's a little hard sometimes, right? But, like, boom, that you see the cart, right? So even if you get a pick right now, it's not the most optimal time to get a pick. Especially since Sky still hasn't respawned yet. Um, you can just wait a little bit longer. Maybe wait those two seconds, then go for an ult. Maybe you can kill the Sky, right? Right here, I would not peek this because Khan, Khan's stunned. And if he was bold, he probably would have grabbed you. So you're floating, you pop your ult. So right here, you pop your ult um, when it's it's the right idea, right? But you also got to think about cooldowns, right? Because now, like, Koa just pops shield. And now he just eats your eats your ult while he backs into here and saves his sky. It, ideally, right? So you got to make sure that cooldown, like, important cooldowns that counter your ult get used. So, like, the biggest, I think the biggest counter to your ult is going to be, it depends on the champion, but, like, Koa shield, Khan shout, Dama slither, right? If Damba doesn't have Slither, kill him. If Khan doesn't have Shout, free kill. If Koa doesn't have Shield, free kill, right? But those are going to be the three things you want to look for before you throw out your ult. So, like, if you, if, if you, you even though Khan used Shout here, you dashed up and you weren't looking for to ult the Khan, right? So, basically, it doesn't matter, right? Because that condition is doesn't, doesn't matter because that's not what you were looking for. Now you pop your ult here, right? Now, honestly, if you would have dumped one more charge into the Koa Shield, you probably could have got another shot off right here. And you still dump it. There you go. That's fine. You're just floating right now. Careful, because Cole might look for a hook on you. He did, but he missed. I was alone. You're with the, the Nando. They're going to fear it. All right. So you lose Nando, you got you to reset. So just a quick little, like, uh, I guess, refresher, right? So instead of, like, going here from here and then just dashing up, right? You know that they're going to try to push this to take control. Just back up, get information, get information, get information, right? You know Sky's about to respawn, and then you can, like, dash up here, and then just death awaits you all, right? And then now you have this little thing for cover. Even if you dash a little farther back right here, now you can see this. If they push through here, you can head this way. If they, if they pull back this way, you can go this way, right? But you have a form of cover, right? Um, but yeah, I would probably have just chilled in mid. And it, even if you don't want to go for that ult, maybe you just wrap around here. Now you're on this high ground, right? Or you go this way, and now you have a cross angle, right? So now your team has angles on this side, and you have an angle on this side. So now they're all in here. They're funneled. If they make one mistake, you can just look for an ult, right? Here we are, right? Koa's isolated right now. They're all kind of bundled up in there. They left, they left the Tyra alone. This is a free dive. Go in, go in. Your maze going in. Oh, go in. No, commit. I don't care if you die. I don't care if you die if the Maeve trades in, right? I, I, I don't. You, this that, that, that's triple dps take duels get trades right i i do not care if you die as long as Maeve goes in and trades it right and from what i've seen Maeve doesn't seem like she's horrible right so like i think she'll go i think she'll follow you in right so right there just be confident go in and if the trade doesn't happen it doesn't happen but i think going in is the right play because right here you kind of just leave and you leave your Maeve on an island when you probably you guys probably could have killed the tyra so right here, I wouldn't even go back in here. Let Maeve kind of handle it on her own. Get a different angle, right? Remember remember earlier, we don't want the same angles. We want different angles. Look through mid. Dash up once. Firebomb. Dash up again. Oh, it doesn't have hook. Unfortunately, you fell off, right? So now Nana's getting a lot of cart push. So at this point, they got to play around cart because of that. But they're also looking for a backline play as well. So right here, you have a big problem um, that most new DPS players, flank players, they have, right? You're, you you give up space too eagerly, right? You're too open to be like, oh, I, since you have the mobility, you're, you're like, it's okay, I, I, can, I can run away, right? But like, when you do this, 
right? Now you are completely out of the fight for the most part. You cannot help your team. You, you've kind of like, this is basically like you're dead for like four seconds. Because it's, like, it's going to take you like a little bit of time to get over here before you can even do anything. So while you're doing that, these guys are just kind of like shooting at your tank. So like on point, it's basically a 3v2 because like, I mean, they don't really have angles. But um, if Khan rotates or let's say like Khan just pushes into the back, right? Because you've already used all your dashes. They can kind of just walk on Shaolin, right? So by you dashing over top like that and kind of just getting out of the fight, you've taken yourself out of the fight. You have like little to no impact right now. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody died on your team. They're playing really slow. I'm going to protect the Tyra, right? You're going back over. Low was low. Got to hit those shots. Maybe he doesn't get his ult off there. Just like I said earlier, right? You got to make sure those cooldowns are out before you pop your ult. Because that's an absolutely huge ult if she doesn't have shield. And a good way to kind of know if the cooldown's up or not is how confident they're playing, right? If he's just playing up, sitting on that corner, it's because he doesn't feel threatened because he has cooldowns to protect himself. Big fear. Yeah. So, issues so far um, with, uh, with that whole, like, pushing stuff, basically... Um, yeah, you're too, you're too eagerly giving up free space, um, as well as uh, timing is a little off in the sense of like going for certain things. You can go for things a little bit later, right? You can do things a little bit sooner. Um, don't be afraid to die, right? Because in in the in the realm of triple DPS, aggression is key is king, right? You want to get those angles, you want to get those trades, right? Because when they have one down, no matter what you, especially if it's a damage, you will always have more damage, right? For the most part, so. Keep that in mind. Looking at your buys real quick. So you bought Brazil too. I really don't think you need it. Like, I just think that it was pretty unfortunate that you're getting hit by these Dama fears. But like, I don't think you need it. I feel like maybe just saving up your credits, maybe, maybe getting a Loom 2 instead and, and finishing your COD is just a little more important than the Brazil buy. Because it's only a Dama fear. So right here, you're doing your little check, right? You're wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Take the high ground, cool beans. You have your ult if you need it. So right here, you pop your ult. So that's kind of cool, right? Some people some people might see that as a waste, right? But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, right? You popped it. This doesn't allow Khan to grab your, your Nando. Khan grabs your Nando. He's getting he's getting an ult dumped into him. He's getting shot by Shaolin. He does not live, right? So um, that little ult there is it's a good deterrent in the sense of you kind of saved your Nando from dying. Now, um, Nando's going to have ult soon. So you guys could look for an aggressive play uh, with the Nando ult because you guys know that they do not have fear, right? So... Once Nando gets ult, he should walk in and look for an ult, and you guys should be able to follow up on that and get value. So, Nando almost has ult, right? Nando's smart, he'll play aggressive, but this is a, you know, a random Nando, so probably won't happen, doesn't happen. You get ulted. You guys are winning cap. Koa's feeding. Koa doesn't die here. Good reset by your team. We do lose the shot, though. Nando just needs to live here. He's going to get a dash proc in, in a second. There it is. Uh, but he dashes the opposite way, unfortunately. So he's going to stagger here. That's not good. Put it back in. So now you know your uh, your tank staggered, which sucks. You know that they don't have Skyle. You know that they don't have Connell. So it's good information to know. Con is isolated right side. You have that information because you can see everybody mid, as well as you can hear the Con shooting from the right side. You're going to have Volt again. Since you know Cole's on point, Con's right. You could probably look for a dive left side. Unfortunate. You got a lot of damage in, though, so you may have might get picks here. I think Tyra died to her own fire. Unfortunate. So ideally, this is the choke you want to defend. You're the better, like, poker, right? So I'd say that you play more of a stable, like, backline with the Shaolin, and then allow the Maeve to kind of float around and poke. But if she's not floating, I want you to float with. So basically what you're doing right now. This crackling sound is getting on my nerves. Right here, you're doing a lot of nothing. They're pushing a cart. So, like, you're waiting for that Tyra pick. And while you're waiting for that Tyra pick, instead of the fight being a 5v4, it's a 4v4. Because you're not doing anything. You're, 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 you're too worried about that free pick that 
you, your team's getting pushed through for the most part. Now they're going to turn for you. They feared forward. You should get hooked here. Don't, but you still die, right? So, like, right there, you should have been applying pressure to them. Who cares about the Tyra? This man dismounted himself and spawn. He disconnect? You waited all that time for him to disconnect. You see what I'm saying? Like, that. that's unfortunate on, on, on his part and your part, but it's like... Even in, even if he doesn't disconnect there, like you should be looking for value. You should be looking to fight because you guys are up one. All right, we're back. Nope, oh, comes a free kill. Dashing as well, but dashing as well. There you go. Nice. Guys underneath doesn't have any assistance. Khan's peeling, but you guys should probably be able to get a kill there. He gets the kill. Khan's out of position here. Khan should die. Don't have to rush that Khan kill because you know he'll die no matter what. You kill Tyra. Boom. Now Khan should get staggered as well. Khan dies. Cool beans, right? So now at this point in time, right, you guys are up two. I think Tyra is a bot. Yes. Uh, you guys could probably take a lot of space here. So they're pushing through Koroi, right? You hear the Damba? Look, the peak the Damba. There you go. Remember, you don't have to get a kill here. You just got to be kind of annoying. Don't get hooked. Don't have, don't dash all the way out. Please, just stay up. There we go. Yeah. All right, so you're dashing for the angle, right? So you and Maeve are in the back line here. Unfortunately, you aren't able to trade for the Maeve, right? But you do get a good amount of damage in, right? Tyra should be coming off a respawn here, but he is a bot. Keep that in mind. Uh, you don't know that, though, because you can't see it. Ooh, getting a little bit of stuttering. I don't know why that's happening. Let's see if this will fix it. Give me a second. Good dive. Throw some things out. There we go. This should probably help out a bit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Computer being slow. So we finish your call three. Still rocking with the Illum one. Your Rezil two. We're rolling out here. We're changing up our rollout. We're going left side. I'm not opposed to changing up rollouts, but I just don't know if. You want to go left. I guess you assume that they're, they're really not going to go right, so why waste your time? Just going to go straight over top, right? Cool beans. Oh, Kowash probably has ult here, right? No? He should die for that? Unfortunate. Using all their ults. Punch, there you go. You should live here. So you guys have two picks. Finish Tyra. Nice. Good pick. Call him Miss Hook. Be aggressive. Dink. Think, think, run at him. Think, think. There you go, nice. Take high ground, take high ground. Go high. Ah, uh, you dashed from way too far. This all you need, all you really need is dismounts right now. You should be okay. up on high here it's right here you guys don't really have to do too much right you control you were controlling high ground right so you had you have the advantage car's gonna keep pushing for free uh since your mave's playing high i'm actually pretty uh happy with you taking this alternate angle and poking right they're all in main now damba's pretty far back in the back line you Kawa has, has shield he's gonna pop it no apparently he doesn't have shield cons behind you big stun Oh, I think Khan switched off of stun. He did. Interesting. I actually like the stun pick. Probably with the dash there. As soon as he got lit, they probably could have just dropped and just sat directly underneath him and just popping him.
Tyra low. Don't commit on that though, because they'll probably just turn for you. Oh, she's alone. She's alone. You know she's alone. You no, know, the Tyra, the Tyra, the Tyra, the Tyra. Look, look. They know what's up. This is the dive. This is a hundred percent the dive. You know they're all in front of you. You went left. Your team went right because the right is a hundred percent the play there. You die now. Oh, gentle tits. Oh my god, gentle like literally saves your life. What a what an old. Hundred percent, you gotta dive the Tyra there. Dive the Tyra for sure. It should be GG here. Just at, honestly, just int on him. Just kill him. Punch, shoot, punch. Doof, doof, doof. There you go. Yeah. All right. So, um, decision making <laughs> is definitely a thing, right? So, uh, we'll talk about a few things real quick. So, things that I notice, right? Things that I notice. Um, you're a little too um okay with giving up free space, right? Which I which I've already expressed that um it's a habit that you should kind of get out of, right? Because the longer you're in a certain spot while being able to survive, the longer you're a threat, right? Um, when you're gonna ult, I want you to look for ults when certain cooldowns have been used already right because then you can kind of guarantee that you'll get that kill because popping the ult is the first step but you gotta kill them right or you gotta at least hyper pressure them out and if, if you just wait a little bit poke a little more force out a shield from koa as soon as that shield goes down if he does if he hasn't backed up to the appropriate area, appropriate area you just kind of blow him up with your ult or you force his ult right same thing with Khan. Khan's overextended. He shouts. You kill him with your ult. Thomas Slithers, kill him with your ult. You know what I'm saying? Sky doesn't have any of her cooldowns. Kill, him, kill her with your ult. Even if she does, just dump your ult into the smoke. <laughs> you know? So it's like um, understanding with like what certain cooldowns are going to counter your ult, right? So that you can um, you can play around that. For example, uh, you really sh if you're a victor, you shouldn't victor ult an Inara if she has her DR up. Because it does, it just does, does nothing, right? It just tickles her. Um, things like that. Um, and what's another tip I can give you? Buys. Um, I feel like you're, you over prioritize Brazil there because they had a Damba. That's the only reason, that's only, the only CC they had and you got hit twice. So I understand, but like, um, you're not going to be the main target. I feel like for the fears for the most part, even if you do, they, I feel like they, they didn't really have good kill confirmed to even, uh, to even punish you for not having Brazil, right? You had your ult to dodge it and you could just play, a, you could play distance, which will give you more time to kind of react, right? things like that or you could dive in knowing that he's going to fear you and insta pop your roll and then he fears you and he wastes it right as long as you live um yeah so buys um ult usage uh not giving up space for free and then decision making right uh info 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 is going to be uh, your number one tool when it comes to making decisions for example when we talked about that that first ult on um on the first push uh, just look just at a corner of your eye looking at the cart knowing how far it is um, This is enough info to tell you maybe I should wait a couple more seconds before I ult, right because um, th The cart is being pushed for free. They're not contesting. We're not forced to do anything just yet, right? Um, the cart and the timer is going to be your best friend um, working alongside those two mechanics are going to uh, Give you a lot of benefits, right? So if the carts moving for free, you technically don't have to do anything yet once they start contesting or once they're going to they set themselves up to contest then you need to start doing things right because now you have to start kind of pulling apart their setup yeah you could get a stagger kill but it's like if that stagger kill doesn't really give you much other than one pick and like free free push that you were already gonna get right you're not really earning anything you're kind of just like guaranteeing something that you kind of already earned if that makes sense um but other than that pretty good aim uh positioning was really good I like that you like to take high ground. I like that you like to move around. Uh, you're not just playing ground, Andy, right? <laughs> Which some people would play. Um, so yeah, I think you did really well. Uh, the few things that I talked about are some things you can improve on. Hopefully you learned a little bit from this VOD review and hopefully I get to VOD one of your games in the future. Alrighty, for everybody watching this video, if you like my content, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below uh, your thoughts, opinions, because you know, I always value those. If you would like uh, to have a game of yours reviewed by me, uh, join the Discord link in my description here. And uh, send a, basically a request in the VOD submission uh, chat of the channel. Um, I have a pin. You just go to the top right, you click it, and it will kind of give you the format. I would appreciate it being, obviously, if you just post it, it should be good enough. But I would appreciate it if it's in that format, format because it gives me uh, the information that helps me, right? Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, if you want to keep up to date with me and my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Sub subscribe. My God, I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love and take care.